Hi everyone, welcome to Patty Puckett Pouring Art. Today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour. I haven't done a Dutch pour in a long time. Not the easiest pour to do, you never know. This is a 12 by 16 gallery wrapped level 3 canvas. Um, I already have taped on the back, push pins, the large ones already in. Um, I'm going to be using this Revlon hair dryer with this type of end on it flat. It does have a cool button setting so when I push that, this is press and seal. I wrap the handles because when I do re uh, yeah, resin I don't want my my knobs to get stuck. So that's what I'm using. Today the colors are, I'm going to be using, well this mix that I'm going to be using as a base is two parts flow acrylic artist loft with one part Amsterdam titanium white. That's my base color and to that I mixed three parts Floetrol and one part water um, and then I used water to get it to a very thin consistency. Same with the paints, very thin. Um, the paints are also they're two to one Floetrol to water to a very liquidy consistency. The colors I'm using today, I could probably see them there. This is the Dazzling Metallics Peacock Pearl. This is Phalo Blue Creative Inspirations with um, Deep Extreme Sheen Deep Sapphire. So this is the Creative Inspirations Phalo Blue, one of my favorite colors. This one is a Highlight Gold. It's a by TK Trading Company, and it's a, a mica powder. And I mix that with um, probably a quarter of the Minwax varnish, and then I mixed it with Floetrol, and then I put water in it. So it has an iridescent look to it. I've never used this on a Dutch pour. So experimenting. This yellow is a Basics. Cadmium yellow hue, light hue, light or medium, light hue. Basics. The gold is the Flow Acrylic Gold by Artist Loft. I don't think they make this anymore, which is a bummer. So I still have some left. And to that, I mixed a little bit of Artist Loft Black, made it a little darker. And then the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic Pink. What is it? Um, this is the neon pink. And I'm not sure they make this anymore. I, I haven't seen it at the store. There's a couple colors I don't see anymore, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Putting them in the smaller tubes, I think, which um, is not as much. It's They're thicker. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and put my base coat down and we'll get started. Okay, let's get going. Um, I'm going to start with the blues. I'm going to put it about right here. I'm just going to do a puddle pour. I don't want a whole lot of paint. I wouldn't mind some negative space. Probably going to make some green right there. A little bit more blue. I think this is going to get buried if I don't pour some more on there. Okay, I think that's all I need. Let's pour it around. I'm going to blow it out. One, two, three, four. Pour it around. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to torch that. There's a lot of bubbles in that white. Why 
is it always scary? It is, always. And I do a Dutch pour. Okay, let's go. Okay, pour it over a little bit. Let's see what I have there. See if anything comes up. Well, that's weird. Know what that is. Buried under there. I hope I have enough paint on there. Color. I definitely have enough white. That's sort of weird. Where is that? Well, it's not coming up. So I'm just going to go blow it out. Let's see what happens. Not the right blow dryer. Let me try this. I've never used that blow dryer in that end before. I don't think. That's a fail. So that's just going to be poured off because I can't do anything with that. Nothing. Not one thing. But I'm just going to play. Might as well play, huh? Everybody messes up on Dutch pours, except maybe Canella. She's, you know, but you never know. We don't show when we really mess up. So if you're seeing this, that's pretty good. That means it might turn out okay. Definitely needed more paint, more color. I have plenty of white down. So, what did I do wrong? Not enough color. My blow dryer was too fast. The setting was too fast. So, all I can do now is tilt it a while. Let's tilt it and see what happens. I've had some tilted touch pours that turned out really good. So, let's see. All right, you know, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try to do the Dutch pour over this. 
Usually I would just scrape this, but hey, why not give it a shot, right? I think I'm gonna go, I got my other blow dryer ready. I think I'm gonna go this way. I'll just do it right there. Let's start right there. There's already a lot of paint there. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Put more paint down. Okay, let's try it again. Let's see this. about that iridescent. Not, not yet, anyway. Alright, let's blow it out. Hopefully it's going to work this time. There's not enough paint for it to slide over. Once I tilted it, it got thinner. So the only way I'm gonna make it stretch is to put more paint around the edge. Let's try that. Oh, I didn't know this one was gonna be such a struggle. There it is. Okay. I mean, I like the colors going on. A lot so I'm gonna try this little blower again I'm going to blame the blow dryers. <laughs> so this one's interesting. I'm not sure I want to keep it. Let me bring it down just a bit so you can see what I'm looking at. Very colors are nice. Iridescent showing up. Got some cells. I said different what that means hmm. I think it's growing on me I need to be blown out a little bit so I'm gonna use a straw here definitely is, is a struggle. I really like the colors. I'm just, I just have to figure out what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to do something else. You know what? I'm going to torch it. See what else comes up. I might just keep this one. It's different. It's not your normal Dutch pour. 
Okay guys, I am going to work on this composition a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm going to ruin it, mess it up, but I'm not happy with some of this, so I'm going to scrape it right here. how <clears throat> I mean I don't know if I've let it go too long or it's already starting to dry I just ruined this whole thing no no worries I can scrape the whole thing save the canvas Getting pickier. Getting pickier. Okay, and then this part over here, I need that to go off. So I can just add color to that. Let me pour some white back on here. I'm gonna leave some on there to blow. Yeah, I already like that better. Okay, then I'm going to just put a little bit of color on the edge here. I'm not ruining it. I always overwork my Dutch boards, always. I wish, just, I wish I wouldn't do that. Now I do. It's not going to blend with the other colors that are here. That's fine. It is what it is. Okay. White, have some white left, white in the front of it, a whole bunch, just enough to carry it over. All right, do I want to use the big blow dryer or the little one? I'll use the little one. Okay, here we go. Okay. I like what I did here, I just don't like this part, so I'm going to have to see if I can blend that in somehow. I do have some paint here, so I'm going to just fill that in.
to get rid of some of those hard edges. Okay, I do like it better. I like the composition better. It, um, I'm, I'm not going to mess with this corner. I like how my swipe left some color here. That's really different. Um, it does flow together now. Very colorful, a lot of cells. Let me bring you on down, and I think that'll be it. Okay, here it is. Sorry for the glare. All kinds of colors. Cells, orange cells. Iridescent looks really pretty. I'll have some pictures at the end. Please like and subscribe. I appreciate you shopping on my Amazon links below dryer that you saw is down there. Click on the link in the next hour and a half after you click. Anything you shop for, you get a little tiny bit of credit at no additional cost to you. Check out my social links. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. See you next time.